Hundreds of evacuees have come to Kelowna's Prospera Place to escape the wildfires that are burning through the Okanagan. So Cassidy came down to get some reaction from residents. We had about 134 people sleeping here last night. Um, as you can see, there's people that have chosen to sleep in the car park, which is fine. We are checking on them. We have security here. Um, we've got our partners from the Kelowna Gospel Mission dropping off coffee. Lots of people, lots of community support. We're actually seeing a lot of um, uh, people starting to feel a little, a little bit more upbeat right now um, after the, you know, the, the immense pressure they're going through. The not knowing. It's like, yeah, we've got a roof over our head, we've got food in our tummies, making the best of a bad situation here, but the not knowing if I have a house to go back to is a struggle. They were able to find us a couple of pots and it was a little bit of a challenge because she's, she's a cuddler and she's got some separation anxiety issues so normally it's a queen size bed for the two of us and uh, so sleeping on a, a twin size cot was a, not the most comfortable night but roof overhead. We were evacuated early yesterday afternoon. We're having breakfast and we're talking with we're friends and we're just watching the news to see what's happening with the wildfires. We're doing very well here and Last night they gave us cots to sleep on and blankets, so we were most of the time comfortable. We just had a team of volunteers and corporations come in yesterday and uh, they actually created 600 fire emergency hampers and we're so thankful for that and with the support of Food Banks BC and Save On Foods we were able to do that. An employee of Prospera Place has told Cassinet that Red Cross has arrived and they're currently behind closed doors with firefighters coming up with a plan on what to do next. I'm Brayden Ursel in Kelowna for Castanet.